Welcome. My name is Peter Strong. I'm a professional psychotherapist uh, and I specialize in Skype counseling uh, for the treatment of anxiety and also for help with depression and addictions. So Skype counseling is a very convenient way of getting the help that you might be looking for. Um, it means that you can have your sessions from home, you don't have to uh, drive to an office to see a therapist, um, and there are many other factors that make it very convenient. It's also uh, very useful if you don't have a local psychotherapist that you want to work with in your area. Uh, some people don't have access to the right kind of a counsellor or, or therapist, um, especially if you're living in a rural area or if you're living abroad. Uh, it may be very difficult to find someone to help you. And so Skype counselling or counselling uh, using Skype is very effective and a very good choice. Um, Skype counselling is just as effective as meeting in person um, because you can see each other. Uh, this is the main uh, advantage really of using Skype or other video platform. It allows you to see each other and if you can see each other then the communication becomes very much more effective and really there's no difference. Um, from my experience uh, it's often better than traditional uh, meetings in person with a therapist because you feel more comfortable in your own environment. Um, you feel more in control. It helps you avoid you feeling like a victim um, of your anxiety or depression or addiction. Um, when you can feel more in control of the process itself. Uh, so Skype counselling gives you that sense of control. Um, you choose to initiate it, you're doing it from your own home, um, you're doing it on your terms uh, at a time that works for you, so it gives you a greater sense of control and that's very important. Um, it's very important indeed for any kind of successful psychotherapy that you feel in control and that you come away from sessions uh, with uh, a clear sense of practical techniques and methods that you can apply yourself to help uh, overcome your anxiety or depression or addiction. You do not want to become dependent on a therapist or, or a treatment protocol or medications or any other uh, external um, service like that. You need to develop confidence in your own ability to heal your emotional suffering. And that's what I focus on during uh, my sessions. I teach mindfulness therapy, which is very practical and gives you lots and lots of ways of working with your emotions um, at a very deep and experiential level to help those emotions heal. Um, it teaches you how to develop a totally different side of yourself which we call your true self which is not the content of mind, it's not the emotions or the thoughts or the other content, that's where the suffering lies, but there is this other side to you that we develop during mindfulness therapy which is really the observer, it's the one who observes those emotions, those thoughts or those traumatic memories or those compulsive impulses um, in the case of an addiction. Um, so developing that sense of being the observer is is a, a central part of all good psychotherapy and that's 
one of the prime focuses of mindfulness-based Skype counseling. So if you'd like to learn more about how to apply mindfulness for working with your emotional suffering, whatever it might be, then please go to my website, learn more about Skype counseling and mindfulness therapy in general, and then email me and we can schedule um, a Skype counseling session at a time that works for you. Um, the approach is very practical indeed. It, it, it's very empowering and it enables you. It, it gives you the tools you need to um, facilitate your own healing. And because of this, because of this approach, most people see dramatic changes within the first three or four sessions. Um, it's quite a different approach than conventional counseling or uh, talk therapy. Uh, we learn to approach our mind in a very practical uh, way and actually get to the heart of the problem and learn how to change that underlying process that creates anxiety or depression. So if you'd like to learn more, please go to my website and send me an email to schedule a uh, counselling session via Skype. Thank you.